There are many historical sites to see in Tulsa, Oklahoma, but among the most important are the remains of Black Wall Street. At the turn of the 20th century, African Americans developed the Greenwood District in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Built on what had been formerly Indian territory, this community grew and flourished, that is, until May the 31st, 1921. That's when a white mob began a rampage through 35 square blocks, beginning at the courthouse as a result of attempting to get one man. And this resulted in the decimation of a community known as Black Wall Street. Armed rioters, in fact, many of them deputized by local police, looted and destroyed buildings, businesses, homes, churches, almost a hospital, so on and so forth. The official death toll of the Tulsa Race Massacre, as it's been dubbed, was 36. But historians believe it was probably much higher, maybe 300. About 10,000 people were left homeless. The incident today stands as one of the most horrific acts of racial violence and domestic terrorism ever committed on American soil. The Greenwood Rising um, Black Wall Street History Museum is open to the public and a fantastic visit if you're interested in learning more about not only Black Wall Street and then, of course, the Tulsa massacre that came afterwards. Likewise, the Greenwood Cultural Center is free, but only open on weekdays. Obviously, almost nothing remains of Black Wall Street. We're standing here in the Greenwood District right now, and this is a street that looks somewhat like the overall community might have appeared in 1921. Unfortunately, this one block is the only that it retains. The bottom of Vernon African Methodist Episcopal Church is the only partial structure to survive the ravages of the race massacre. It is the foundation and so hardly visible to the naked eye. The rest of the church was destroyed in 1921 and was rebuilt using the original foundation. Named for Bishop W.T. Vernon, the church was founded in 1909 and actually has been on this. The city of Tulsa also features several beautiful murals, a Black Wall Street street mural, and then murals just of the Greenwood pioneers, as well as Jackie Robinson, which is outside the baseball stadium today. These murals are spread out throughout the Greenwood neighborhood and artistic centers and can be viewed within a couple minutes walking from one another.